here we are on the 18th of July looking at all the new mods dropped today and we've got a bit of a selection banger of mods today and as always time will be left down below but first of all we're going to be looking at the refillable IBC tank this is by W33ZL 0.7 mix megabytes of download slot count is 3 goes down to 1 and yes you'll find this under Padits go towards the end and basically what this is it's a IBC tank that could be fulfilled or refilled shall I say with liquids and this could be suitable for sprayers and that and any other categories of that so it's only 100 to purchase holds 2000 litres 100 kilograms is base weight and will accept the following death water milk fuel herbicide and fertilizer so no configurations or anything like that. And yes, as to refill this, you need to enter it like a vehicle, which will show. And get close to one meter to the tank to be able to enter. So I did have a bit of a struggle with this, filling up with things like from our multi silos. But if you got a sprayer or anything like that, then that would be the more ideal. So then we're going to purchase another one and then we'll give this a little test. So there we go, we got our herbicide, so yeah. Obviously if you have a look here, normally, nope, can't do anything, so I think we're within a meter of it, I'll say. Nope, we're not, so you've got to be like super close on top of it, so... Something like that, maybe? Uh, new no, is the answer to that. Oh uh, yeah, camera angle is a bit iffy in that. But yeah, let's try that. Let's get those out of the way, and this should go pull up directly aside to it, so... There we go, we're pretty much touching now, so... Nope, still having issues with it not working, and that's the thing with this. It's... The idea of it, the concept behind it does work well, it's just, it is rather a little, I won't say broken, but things like the radius of where it lets you fill up from, that could be improved. And yeah, what I'm going to do is try to move one of the IBCs over in that. Oh yeah, so initially you got to be like that, and then yeah, you can refill that, so... Yeah, sort of works in that, but... Yeah, to be honest, I could really wish if that had a bigger... Yeah, radius in that of where you can fill it from that, apart from that, but... Yeah, the radius does need to be a bit bigger, especially for FS and that, get... Yeah, within one meter in that, it is extremely difficult to... Be able to navigate. So, for example, one meter is so from here. I look at the bottom left, one nine six five to here. So, literally, yeah, that kind of radius you need to be within. So, yeah, it feels like five meters, even ten meters, ideally. Now, that'd be a bit more of a better option. But, anyways, that is the. Refillable IBC tank by W33ZL. Next. I'm just going to go over this, and this is the Real Electric Generator. This is by Courseplay.dev team and caster. 0.8 megabits download, and when the mods first dropped that, I downloaded all the mods and that. Get the mod description up on the mod hub and that on my PC and that. So when I prepare my mod reviews and that, I'll look on my screen, look at the mod description and that, look at the megabyte size, look at all my notes and that. But yeah, very quickly got removed from crossplay. That's because this is a PC only mod. Because yeah, the idea behind it is good and that, so it lets you produce solar and all that, solar, electric charge and that, via yeah, sunlight and air. The idea behind it makes sense and that, but obviously it's a scripted mod, so does not work on consoles or yeah, so meant to run this off when you're in the daytime that yep you get electricity in that but at night you don't so yeah for to go quick over it slot counts are three two 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 and two 
I should sorry, two, three, three, and three. So, yeah, you find these under your productions, under generators. So, yeah, it is two slots for the small solar connector. And for the large one and the wind turbines, they are three, goes down to one. But, yeah, maybe we we'll come back as a crossplay once it's fixed in that, or this is meant to be only for a PC mod now, but I guess they got released as a crossplay mod. But anyways, this is the Real Electric Generators by Courseplay.dev team and Caster. Now for the GDR Supermarket, this is by Hellr Visor or H3LLRVIZ3R. 12.46 megabytes download, and essentially what this is, it's a cell station for your items and that. So you got a normal cell points like you see here. So that is your supermarket number one. However, supermarket number two is a production so yeah you put your products in so bread tomatoes eggs, strawberries potatoes eggs honey flour sugar sunflower oil and milk and then yeah you so you sell that at 100 years per cycle now and it's 24 cycles a month so only 100 per hour so 2400 per hour so that's you you sell items at a slow rate and supermarket number one where you can sell your items immediately and the open hours are 8.30 to 6pm and yeah both of these are 10,000 to buy 15 slots on console you'll find this under productions and sell paint so yeah supermarket number one lets you sell what we just covered and then yeah sell station 2 supermarket 2 is the production that lets you sell items at a slow and in a way, a bit of a realistic rate, sort of taking inspiration from the controversial and most hated DLC in FS22 history, the Farm Production Pack, where one of the, well, one of the items is that you sell items at a slow rate. I like the idea behind it, don't get me wrong, not false in that. Oh yeah, it's got that Euro sort of Eastern European, Polish, I think, kind of look to it in that, so very simple. A little bit rustic in that, but that I do like simplicity sometimes. But anyways, that is the GDR Supermarket by L R Visor. Next. Now for the German Village Fire Department, this is by NRXXC or Eki. Saucy Modding and it is 29.23 megabits of download. And you have said she wants it, it's a little German fire department. But Rather than just being a fixed place wall, you can use this to obviously store items. It's got animations for the doors, lights, gates, and it's got decorations and that. So turn on your shed lights and that. Do get a little office area over here and that. But it hasn't been quite fully furbished, so yeah, it's going around. Got your toilets and that, even. <laughs> nice, that is. Yeah, more toilet stalls and that. Ah uh, yeah, so looking around uh, over doors and that. Locker room area. And let's go upstairs and see what's up here and that. Oh, and a little conference area and that. Not too bad, not too shabby. So yeah, this is, yeah, not just a decorative item that you whack down and then you forget about it. This is something you can use that with the variety of fire mods and that, or fire truck mods we've got in FS and that. But anyways, you'll find this under buildings, under tools, 130,000 to buy. And slot count is 34, goes down to 2 after placing it down. And yeah, overall's not too bad, nice little bit of kit in that. So, that is the German Village Fire Department by NRX Eki and Saucy Modding. Next. Now for the barn with pig slide, this is by Betanol. Lucas, yeah, I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that right, do apologise. It is 25.6 megabits download. And yeah, essentially, what it says is the barn has it as a name with a pig sty, holds 15 pigs, got your trigger and that over here and that. And yeah, slot count is 27 goes down to 1. Got all these little doors and that. Feed input is over here. For your straw bells and that, I had to find. Yeah, you had to go literally right close to the door of these. So yeah, when I went to place these down and issue that, 
yeah, I couldn't really get them on the outside, so I had to give them a little bit of a push on the inside. And yeah, where are these resistible bells? I just ended up chucking them in, but yeah, bells and that would be accepted like here and that. But yeah, also got a little two bay barn and that. Sorry, that comes out of here. Now, in terms of capacity for feeding that, so if we go down to our animals, barn with pig sign that, so feed capacity is 4,000 liters and short capacity is 7,500. Sorry, Nat, I left this run for a little bit. I'm guessing that's going to be the realm of, I guess, about 20,000 years or so, give or take. And yeah, your funds are the build modes, are the animals, are the pigs, barn pig soy, 25 grand to place, no custom terms with the brick colors and that. But yeah, I do, again, I like these older like, brick and mortar builders. If you know me, I do love my brick and mortar. Especially the animations with the door, the little decorative items and that, just everything that wraps up together. Also you got your light switch over here and that, so you can turn on your little lights and that. There we go. So yeah, that is the barn with pig side by Better Now Lucas. Next, from one pig side to another, we got the pig side with New York, this is by Missy B. 4.72 megabytes to download. Slot count for this is 16, goes down to 1. And yeah, unlike the one we just looked at, this will hold 250 pigs. In terms of capacity, it is 50,000 litres for the water and straw. And the feeding capacity is 60,000 litres. So you can see, 50% is space food, 25% grape, 20% protein, and lastly, 5% for the root crops. Sewer capacity, I've left this running, so I'm going to say that's in the realm of about 300,000 litres, maybe a little bit less. But in the time we've been running, I've left this running for a bit, and yeah, I've got 42,000 litres of mineral at the moment. Pigs, yeah, I don't see obviously the old full 250 in that, but I do like these in that, so I've got your dialogue box here just like so. And if you go around, so. Thankfully, Mr. B is left these like, nice custom icons, so this is going to be where your straw is input, so it's got to be within this shelter area over here. And as we go around, your feeding input is over here, water input is over here, and your Surrey outlet is just over here. Yeah, that door is no animations to that door, I don't think. Oh no, there is. So we'll go to the little controller next. I do like the sound of that animation and that. But yeah, so you'll find this once again on the build mode, on the animals, on the pigs, like the last pigs we looked at. And yeah, it says capacity is 4,000 litres, so I am very much assuming that it's for the manure that's definitely not for Surrey or the feeding and that, so not too bad of capacity there for manure. Don't have to worry about constant emptying in that. But yeah. That is the Pixel with Manure by Missy B. Next. On to our final animal shelter we've got. We've got the Shelter with Cow Shed. This is by Caster DS Agar Service. 6.04 megabytes to download. Slot count is 5 slots goes down to 1. And in terms of feeding capacity is 38,000 years. And water capacity is 20,000 years. And yeah, quick go over this. So you find this under build mode, under cows. 65 grand, as I mentioned, slot count is 5, goes down to 1. And yeah, you see it holds 50 cows, and yeah, you will need water in that, as I already mentioned. But yeah, so you've got a nice little bay here in that for your equipment, bells, paddits, whatever you want to vision at. Your dollar box is just over here. War trigger is just where this tanker is, so you do need to get right back to it, as I've noticed in that, so. Maybe the trick I could have done with a little bit come forward to touch that, but overall, that's my only little constructive feedback to it. Do like the looks of the cows in that. But yeah, so feeding that is all in here. And yeah, so you can get milk from these and that. And that will come out over there and that. But yeah. Glass or again, a bit of a British vibe to it. 
bit old, bit old and classic, but it's got that British vibe to it. So this will be very well suited on any British map and that. But yeah, also I forgot to mention, day cost is 70 meters for the shelter. And size of the cow shed is 28 by 12 meters. And yeah, it says shelter to temporary park cows, only need feed and water. No straw in that, so yeah, this is being designed as a temporary hold, hold in that, so for example, you got a pasture net in the spring and summer net. Once winter comes in that, you'll bring your cows in, obviously, to keep them warm in that, out of the winter in that. But yeah, overall, it's not too bad. Do you like the look of it? And that is the Shelter of Cow Shed by Castor DS Agro Service. Next. Moving on to our equipment, we got the Tri Flash Weight. This is by Agri Evolution. 0.86 megabytes of diameter. Essentially, what it says, it's a 400 kilogram weight, but it also acts as a beacon and as a bit of a warning. That so we'll go over that in a sec. But yeah, first of all, you'll find this under tools, under weights. Go towards the end of that, and yeah, this is where you find it. 1,500 to buy. And you've got different configurations, so beacons, you've got beacon, beacon 2, beacon 3, 4, and just back to normal beacon, so that will change the colours and that and type of beacons you've got. The pictogram, you've got pictogram, pictogram 2, so yeah, for example, so you've got warning and construction that. Text, so yeah, that will change the text on the bottom, so you've got fossil, acton, danger, Maha Betin, Button, Mowing, Warning, and yeah, so basically Warning, Mowing, and Danger in English and German. And for your pictogram, you got Foschosh. Oh no, sorry, and that's for the text. So Foschosh, Acton, Danger. So yeah, same as before and that. And yeah, you can change the logos on the top as well, so you can have them all matching or just have it all different. So that's completely down to you, but at the end of the day, it's a weight with beacon options. So, weight, as I mentioned, is 400 kilograms. Three point linkage, obviously, in that. So, drive up, hook on. So, obviously, we can. Oh, I actually know. Oh, yeah, we can move these signs that. So, R1, right stick, up and down, raises and lowers that. R1, right stick, left to right, brings that forward and back, so you can have it like, mounted all the way back. Then L1, right stick, left to right. That pivots the light there. And L1, R1, right stick, left to right, does that. And up and down, obviously pivots it, so... So, for example... You can go. Also, it does have lights in that. So yeah, bring that down to the ground almost. Can you? No. So you can't really bring it down to the ground. So again, I'm just trying to think of a bit of a use for this. So maybe have something like that where the warning is on the back and that. But apart from that, I can't really see much else you can do with it. Again, I'm not too sure on that. But yeah, also, if there's any bugs that need to be reported, then contact, um, the email address is contact at agrikevolution.com, so that is contact at agrikevolution.com, it's on the mod hub in that, so if you've got any problems with that, then feel free to report that. But yeah, anyway, it's a nice little bit of kit in that. So yeah, that is the Lizard Triflash by Agri Evolution. Next. Now for the SP700 spreader. This is by Ada Modern ABP team. 0.48 megabytes download. And what it says, it's a salt and fertilizer spreader. So, first of all, you'll find these under tools and as following. Both under winter equipment, you'll find the salt spreader. And that will hold 1,600 litres, 10 metres working speed and work speed of 24 miles an hour. Well, yeah, I meant to say 10 metres working width and 24 miles an hour. And obviously, because it's a the modern that got a plethora of main colour body options. 
Uh, for the fluoride spreader, it's on the fluoride spreader. Go towards the end, 2000 for that. And again, same colour option, same price as that for everything. Slot counts are also exactly the same for both, of which is just one slot on console, so very nice and compact in that terms of slot count and that. So, got our Massey here once more, so which one did I leave as salt and fertilizer? So that is fertilizer and that, so I was eating that to the field and that. And yep, at only a 10 meter work width, if you will notice this quite a bit, so let's head over here and that, so now we've got to head on to this little patch of land over here. And then, yeah, we are fertilizing. I see Aussie doesn't do the full fields, there's only 10 meters in that. But in the end, day, it's nice little bit of kit. It's a very cheap fertilizer spreader, and that only two grand to purchase in that, so you can get away with a fair quite bit in that, especially if doing a start from scratch, vintage survival, survival challenge kind of thing, or just a bit of general storytelling and role playing. And yeah, the salt spreader does exactly the same. Obviously, I didn't have any snow at the moment, or any icy roads, but let's just show off on that. That's how it looks like when the salt is coming out. And the discharge weight is not too bad in that, so I'll say well, that's a fair little bit in that. You know, but yeah, I obviously didn't really use any salt spreaders in that, unless I actually do a let's play on it. Or the next thing episode involving it, but anyways, that is the SP700 Spreader by Ada Modding and ABP Team. Next, now for the Side Tipper Trans 38TC, this is by Ryan Christie VSR Modding Store. 5.46 megabytes to download, and slot count is 5 slots goes down to 1, holds 38,000 years of product. And yep, yeah, so find this under Traders go towards the end and we will find it here 18,500 to buy Will Brands you got Treadborg, Michelin's and back to Treadborg so Treadborg got standard, wise back to standard Michelin standard, wise back to standard decals so you got standard star, lines, flag, waves and back to standard so none attachers yes or no so you can do a tandem of these if you wish. Various of colour options, so you've got green, black revolution, orange, bronze or brown, a darkish blue, green, red, narrow kind of blue, light green that, and then yeah, so you've got yellows and that. Which is exactly the same, yeah, the GCP yellow so May not be all completely different than that, but also, yeah, per white than that. So, yeah, let's go and into our case here, that. Because, yeah, with 38,000 years, this does have a realistic weight, so suspension on this is realistic. And, yeah, so we've so got tip side left, right, and that's it. There's no tip side back, so. So, L1, R1. That's how it looks like when it's unfolding and unloading. See, so yeah, the hydraulics just tips it over in that. And yeah, not too bad, not too shabby in that. Yeah, overall it does pull very well in that, but yeah, as mentioned, it's one of those that it does have the real weight to it. So, 13,000 litres of... not that one. This one here, we got either lime or fertilizer. And that just to show off of what it means. So, yeah, for example, just look how that tractor's squatting. That is proper squatting. That is. So yeah, you're gonna need a fair powerful tractor to pull 13,000 liters of lime and fertilizer. And that. Also, it does have lights in that. Indicators, left and right. 
But overall, at the end of the day, a very simplistic looking trailer. Does the job in that. And yeah, it's very detailed, very realistic in that. And that is the Side Tipper Trans 38TC by Ryder Christie 1 vs. Monsieur. Next. Now we've got the Gyrex Gyro Max 512. This is by Agri Design Modin, 7.10 megabits of download. And basically, what is this? It's a hedge trimmer and that. And also, basically, it's a mulcher and a tree cutter and that. So, you've got two different options for your rear end attacher. So, yeah, you've got your disc and that to cut trees down. And then, yeah, you've got your mulcher and that, which is in real life designed to prune the hedgerows and that in the real world and that. So yeah, first of all you find this under tools and mulchers, along with forestry equipment, so go into forestry equipment. This is where you find the Gyrax Lamier Nat, 3552 by, and turns with slot counts, it is 4 slots for the attachers and 9 slots for the attacher with the hydraulic Nat, whatever it's called. Hand, handle grab whatever it's called but yeah you also you can mount this onto a tailhander or no, sorry a skissier than that if you want to but yeah so no color options no nothing like that 60 horsepower squared weighs 330 kilograms and it says the working speed is 7 miles an hour so you can travel at 7 miles an hour if you wish for this and then yeah, back up to Mulcher. So yeah, this is where you find the booming at, the Gyrex 512. So attacher, so yeah, you've got standards and extension. And then yeah, you got the Gyrex 512 Mulcher Nat. So yeah. First of all, I'm thinking to go with the what's it, the current nat, tree current nat. So get you attached, so you can obviously detach and attach as, as you wish. So L1 will L1 next will unfold the mulcher. So that would do that. But yeah, you've got various off control. So L1 right stick left to right swings around the arm, and then L1 right stick up and down raises and lowers the boobinet, and then R1 right stick left to right pivots the header net. And then L1, right stick up and down. So yeah, R1, right stick up and down, just reaches out and booms out on that. So I want you like so. Thinking something like that. And there we go. And then yeah, press. L1 and square to turn on the saw. And yeah, cut down trees. But yeah, you have to sort of drive into the trees, I found, been tested, so. Go like so. Reach out that. And yeah, now. go is cutting doesn't take too much to cut a tree down that so let's go find a bit more of an open land than that so yeah this one here is better trees are less clumped together so see it in action and proper there we go it's cutting so maybe a little bit of tweaking with the pivoting in that if you would get it to cut but and yeah, there you get the gist of it in that. And one thing I'm wondering, can you chop up logs in that? How would it be good at, you know, log splitting? So... Alright, so if we raise you up in that. Alright, yeah, so you can split logs if you want to. May not see why you want to do it this way now, but if you want to split your logs like this, then by all means, crack on. Yep, works in that, not too bad, not too shabby in that. 
see it's go and fold you and whatever just go and drop you now let's go and grab the mulcher so we'll get sucked up and then take into a field so there we go right at the edge here so I think this will be fine that so reach on that pivot the hair so it's leveled and then yeah, all you need to do is just bring it down. Once again, pivot the head and that so it is flush to the ground. And yeah, we are mulching. So yeah, you use this as a mulcher and that. But yeah, it is designed for, you know, tree pruning, not tree pruning, hedge root pruning and that. Actually, how does this do with trees and that? So it doesn't do good with trees, but let's say if we cut a tree down, we'll just be able to, you know, remove those branches and that. If I had to guess, no, that. I end the day, things like these like kind of hedgerow trimmers and that, we also need in FS25. But yeah, it's not removing those branches or anything. But yeah, so obviously for the hedgerow pruning that, or hedgerow trimming that, you have it set up like this, that where it is like raised up, leveled, boom out, find hedgerow, get it leveled wherever you want to wish, and then just boom, cut the hedgerows, trim it down as you do. As I'm now stuck with that same aspect to it, it also has a functionality with the saw that, so that is the Direct Stereo Max 512. Next. Now for the swap body with tail lift. This is by Mantai Banani or Banani, Banani whoever it's called. Do you apologize? 6.62 you megabytes to download. Slot count is 5 goes down to 1. And uh, yeah, basically this is a swap body that is designed to fit the Volvo trucks as part of the Platinum DLC. So, depends on which Volvo you've got and go with that. So, if I go first of all over the trucks it is compatible with, so either the FH60 or the VNX300. <laughs> not sure about the glue trotter and that. No, not the glue trotter, so what you need to do is terms with the wheel setups, you're gonna need the try them or tan them and that, so gotta have a little bit of extension there. Also with the FH16, similar, so you need the sort of longer bodies and that, so where it has these little things here and that, so where it extends it out with the two axles, you're going to need that spacing, so something like that, it won't, whip, won't work, you need it extended, but anyway, so first of all you'll find this under tools, under miscellaneous, so yeah, free fight grant boy, main color, so if you change that, that changes the supports, along with the supports for the tail lift and that, cab and that, not the cab, the body or whatever it's called. And design color, so go for a nice hot pink. And that's gonna change the bottoms of the ramps and that. So yeah, I've got us hooked up in that, so first of all you got a couple of options, so not that that's part of the lorry, so L1 and X, that will unfold the rear and the tail lift will come down. As you see, I've got a bike in here already in that, so you can fit pallets of that or very small equipment. And you can enter this as a vehicle, so this will let you obviously raise that to cover that, so yeah, raise that, raise the ramp. I was able to do tension belts and that. But I was able to use this and you know, to fold in that. You're going to need a power source, so basically, you need this attached to the lorry. But from the outside, you can fold it. And now we can undo the side covers. So it goes bang, 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 like so. Uh, does it do the other side? I don't think so by the looks of it, Nat. 
But yeah, so now, who's that back up? Open that. So let's get our Hori Sportster here and that. So let's have some minor clipping in that. So that's one thing to note, but again, the idea behind it is rather nice. So yeah, just back up our Harley in that. There we go. Now, go to your vehicle and that. And yeah, just lower your bells, pallets, or whatever and that. But yeah, you can fit skid steers and that onto here and that. I've tested that. Maybe some very small tractors you can fit in and that, but... But besides from that, not much else you can do really in that. So yeah, just move you out of the way in that. So, obviously, it comes, obviously, detached that, so... Let's go and detach it. See, so yeah, all you should do is simply back up, right at the back, hook up, bang, Bob's your uncle. Well, yeah, that is the swap body with the tail lift by Mantai Banandi. Next. Now we're looking at the Nami uh, Slow Marcel 300, if I'm pronouncing the name of that brand right. This is by JMZ, and technically these came out as updates, but these are new to consoles. So first of all we're going over the Namiso Maricel 300. It is 6.97 megabytes to download. Slot count is 6 goes down to 1. It's a, funny enough, a free musical cultivator in that. But a very well detailed and very well designed cultivator in that. Before you have any little gripes of it. So first of all you find this under tools, under cultivators. Go across, so yeah. I think this is a, not sure if it's a Polish or an Italian brand. I think this is Polish and that, if I'm correct in that. But yeah, so configurations, you've got lights, yes and no, so lights and reflectors at the back. And nothing else on the sides or the front. Now for your waiting chair, it's got no or yes, so yeah, basically just front of the cold and that. Does it affect anything too much in the game? No, but in real life it does. It just helps chuck out the soil out a bit quicker in that. So it helps with, you know, creating that bubbling effect of the soil when you're cultivating in real life. But yeah, so get our new horn hooked up. So yeah, configurations, or not configurations, controls is L1, circle, raises and lowers. And yeah, L1, right stick, left to right. So we come down, raises the whole unit at the back. See, so yeah, I like how that works in that. So, you know, you can go proper, you know, control how deep you want to go with the cultivating in that. But yeah, let's raise that up. So, see if there's any actual difference. So, work speed is 8 miles an hour or 30 kilometers per hour. Ah uh, yeah, I can see no difference in raising and lower that bit. Again, day it's just all for showing that bit of a rhythm animations and that. But obviously, in terms of the game and at the end of the day, how it works, and that doesn't do anything. At the end of the day, it's just a bit of a realistic touch. And that does chuck up the dirt and that quite well, actually. And they're creating that bubbling, dusty effect in that. And yes, there's hydraulic adjustments working there with mouse control. Yeah, this disc adjustments already gone over. Animated feet that moves randomly in that. But yeah, the Chingjog 1.001 is console release and added support for dynamic lowering. So not sure if that's a PC thing or what. But yeah, for only 11 grand, a free meter cultivator in that. Not too bad. Again, I like the animations, I like the details and that. Of course, it's by GMZ, so what do you expect at the end of the day? But yeah, that is the Namiso, Namiso Sharp 600, also by GMZ. 8.55 megabytes to download. Slot count for this is 5 goes down to 1. And this is a 6 meter cold fader net. 130 horsepower required in comparison to the other one, which was 150. For a 3 meter one, so less horsepower intense for this one, which in a way 
makes sense in that, but anyway, so you find this under cultivators, as before. 40,900 to buy, weighs 2.8 tons, 6 meters, and work speed of 9 miles an hour. So you've got your rollers at the back, so you've got your 280 and 320 millimeters, or just the two 320s. Oh, yeah, they does nothing in terms of how it impacts the game. That it's just on real life and that. Real life animations, real life dynamics and that, which again I appreciate and I do love to work over these. So yeah. Also you got your track eradicators and that. So it helps with obviously arranging the tracks and that from your wheels and that. Which in real life is a thing at the end of the day, so I was not sure how it's gonna work with this uh, large uh, New Holland here and that. Or large ish New Holland. But yeah, so hook you up, so first of all, L1, right stick, left to right. Or sorry, up and down. Let's you just have a little adjustment of those. And that is it for that, so yeah, you got on this. So yeah, that's all the adjustments you can use is those. So yeah, once again, you use that to control how deep you want to cultivate your soil in that. And yeah, it does leave a different texture in that, so... If we go into our... Yeah, go to our growth in that, so seed soil in that, so... The 3 meter cultivator in that. That just left a cultivated state. But this one is double tillage, I think. If I remove that. So yeah, that leaves a double tillage with those rollers on the back. So yeah, not too bad. Again, that depends on how you want to go about it in that. But yeah, overall not too bad, not too shabby. I like the animation, like how it works now, especially when it's like this, when it's attached and raised, it just flexes slightly now, you know, got movements and that. Nice big kit as always, GMZ. Keep up the good work in that. But yeah, raise that and fold it. Oh, sorry, not raise, I was meant to raise and fold it. But yeah, so that is the Namiso Sharp 600 by JMZ. Now for most likely the mod of the day, we got a caravan in FS now. We got the Lizard Caravan 522 up. This is by Wolflex mod in that. It is 3.76 megabytes to download. Slot count is 4, goes down to 1. And yeah, got on my notes tonight. It does need an update in that. I'll go over that in a second. And it involves the rims in that, the rim colors in that. But anyway, so first of all, you find this under tools under miscellaneous 35 grand to buy that and yeah so you've got different rims in that so standard standard two decals no or yes so if i come out there and at the front if on the roof nope so yeah you've got color options in that so you got your white, grey and black and then your basic base game colour palette. And yeah, it is a bit of more of a realistic duller white compared to the brighter white base game in that. But yeah, actually if I say leave that like that, so yeah, your rim colours and that, so you got your chrome, silver, grey, and black. And yeah, nothing changed in that, so but if we go back to standards, all right, fair enough. It, it does change colours in that. It's just when it's on standard two in that. Yeah, standard two, the rooms don't change in that. So in that, I'm not too sure. But yeah, so we get our little pickup in that. Obviously, I didn't have any, you know, four by fours now. You know, like your uh, Nanda River in that. But anyway, so got you attached. L1 next. Uh, that's the coronet. 
We want this one. So R1, right stick, left to right. Opens and closes the door. So yeah, this caravan is actually enterable now. So yeah, you know you got your bed and that, double bed and that, toilets, sitting there and that for your having meals and that, sink basin and that. Yeah, but overall not too bad and that. Fortunately, there is no seat trigger in that, but there are, you know, seat trigger mods in that, you know, sleeping bags in that, mod in that. Ah, uh, yeah, do I have anything like that enabled at the moment? No, I don't. But yeah, you know, you can make a portable seat trigger in that. Okay, yeah, for example, a sleeping bag, bang that into the caravan, and then, yeah, simulate role playing that, you know, sleeping that. But yeah, I do like the look of it in that, so... Also... you got, the, you know, the wind-up in that with the jock and wheel in that. Yeah, that, I do like in that, so... How does this handle? So... No real swaying left to right in that. A ball pitch attached in that. But yeah. Let's see how this handles our new little thing I've put in since last time I've done a mod review. I know it's been, what, a couple of weeks now? About, yeah, two weeks now I've done a mod review now. Yeah, just both we're quiet off the mods coming out as well, just IRL stuff and that. Okay, you need to smooth this bump out now, but how does a caravan fly? Detach the caravan. And yeah, retouch it in that as well. But yeah, my little jump here I've made in that, you know, test the equipment in that. But yeah, it does handle quite well the train that doesn't, you know, jolt around too much in that. Handles, you know, bumpy terrain in that. Depends on what Aussie vehicle you're pulling it from. Does it really snag? Does it really get beached on anything? Yeah, it just goes well. At the end of the day, it does all depends on the vehicle you're using to pull with and that. Oops, <laughs> didn't mean to do that. Caravan overboard. But anyways, that is the Lizard Caravan 522 Up by Wolfex or Wolfex Modding. Next. Now for the Amazon FTUF pack. This is by Mloddy98. 12.98 megabytes to download. Terms with slot count it is two and them slots, so two slots for the tanker and out the front, and the body and out the main spare and out that is eleven slots. So yeah, first of all, you'll find this under tools, under sprayers and that. So head over towards there. And yeah, this is one mod of three we're gonna be looking at by. Oh, uh, was it? Yeah, M ninety eight. So. 5,500 for the additional tank and that, so 1,125 litres weighs 270 kilograms, except fertilizer and herbicide and that. But yeah, no configurations apart from license plate. Moving on to the UF and that, so you've got a working width of 15, 18, 21 metres. Water tanks, yes or no, so yeah, that's just the water tank there at the front. Doesn't change the weight of 850 kilograms or the capacity of 1050 litres. Oh yeah, configuration's got a 901 and 1201, so you get an extra 300 litres or nope. And if you got precision farming, you got the GPS switch trademark, yes and no. So basically, this is weed spot spray as part of with the precision farming DLC, and that will cost you an additional 10 grand. So yeah, let's get us hooked up to our case here now, so get you attached. The tank itself can be raised and lowered. And yet cover. Can be open and closed, and that's the rear net. But yeah, anyway, so yeah, raise and lower the front tank. For the rear tank, obviously you can unfold the sprayer, lower the sprayer net. And yeah, as I've already shown, you know, just open and close that cover, which I do like that little bit of animation to it. Just, yeah, 
it brings something to it, it does, per se, that. But yeah, we've got the 21 meter working with, so... Spray the field. Also press L1 and right stick up and down. You can raise and lower said boom. And just check in, no other controls in that. And yeah, you can see, we are just occasionally applying no fertilizer in that. But apparently, we are applying. That's weird. Apparently we're applying fertilizer in that. Yeah, now I've got precision farming enabled, but if you look on the bottom left on that me map there, I know there we go, it's popping up now. Like, first of all, it wasn't popping up in that, so... Yeah, what I had to do was just enter and leave the vehicle in that. Because I did find a temporary glitch hole where you can just use this constantly. That. And yeah, it'll just turn on and off in that. There we go, like so now. Yeah, I've got a gold position farming on, so try and get this to cooperate in that. In terms of showing those still sprayers in that. But yeah, you get the idea behind it. Overall, not too bad of a kid in that. I like the way how it looks when it falls up in that, you know, it just falls in. And yeah, if you've got a, on a South African, South, not South African, South American map in that, you know, using like the Stara and Amazonian mods and that. This would be a well suit for you on those kind of maps. But anyways, that is the Amazon FT and UF pack by Melody98. Next, now for the Amazon UX5200. This is also by Melody along with JMZ. 19.29 megabytes download. Slot count for this is 20 slots, goes down to 1. Oh yeah, 75 grand to buy, so like the other one we've looked at, this is a larger version of that, so you can hold 5,600 years, and once again you can find this under sprayers uh, towards the end of that, so 75 grand, weighs 4.1 tons, work speed of 7 miles an hour, 21 to 40 meter work width, and yeah, horsepower requirement is 130 horsepower, so for working width, you got 21, 24, 27, 30, 36, and 40 meters. Wheel brand, you got Trailer Borg, Michelin's, Cottonail, Smiters. Ah, yeah, so you got your narrows. Yeah, I guess it's just going to be normal tires and the standard versions, apart from Continentals and Mitus. But yeah, also you got your design, so design one, design two, and back to design one. So yeah, just changes the colour slightly in that. And yeah, GPS switch or we spot spray, which we just looked at with the last Amazon mod. But yeah, overall, not too bad in that, so... L1 and left on the D-pass will unfold that cover in that. So yeah, let's go and unfold and extend that boom out. Actually, you know what? I think let's head over to. Does our grass field need fertilizing? It does, so. Yep, yeah, see, this time we've got no glitches whatsoever, so. Yeah, I like how the way it looks in that. And yeah, it all comes out and goes, like, you know, empties at the same time, so. There's no, like, slowing, like, gradual process of it coming out. You know, maybe it says, yeah, it goes from right side to the left side. Yeah, right side, or the ends of that, to the left side at least, and that. But yeah, overall not too bad. And yeah, if you press L1, right stick up and down, you can raise and lower the boom there, so... Depends on how high you want it to be in that. But yeah, head onto our open area in that. So yeah, we've got lights and that. So I zoom in. Yeah, lights. Indicators. And then, yeah, let's watch this fold in that. 
So yeah, it just brings it all in. Ever so slightly, it just goes boom, 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 boom. That I do like. And there we go. That is the Amazon UX5200. Nice little bit again, though. But yeah, apart from that, nothing much else to say, say about it. So yeah, let's head on to our final Amazon spreader for the day. We got the Amazon Pantera 4502. Also by mlody 98 23.91 megabytes to download. Slot count for this is 21 slots goes down to 1. So yeah, this is a self-propelled furlough spreader. Similar to one we just looked at that. So the UX5200. So overall, first of all, looking cabinet. Not too bad that. Got your lights in that. Indicators in that. I still edit these strips and that. But yeah, I also like those additional lights and that. But before we go any further, so you find this under vehicles and crop protection. 275 grand to buy, so not too bad when you compare it to your other ones. But also it does have a smaller capacity, so it has a bigger one than the Bruin 4200. But yeah, so you've got a 21 meter work width, 24, 27, 30, 36, and 40 meter work width. Will Brian's got Treadborg, Standard, or Narrows. Michelin Standards. First line Standards, Treadborg, Standard, or Narrows, or Whites. And yeah, that is it. So yeah, Lights, Standard, or your Amazon Lights. So I'm going to change the... So yeah, it just changes the lights at the back, I think, by the looks of it. Ah, yeah. So right here now, the okay, I'll just... Interior now, so you've got dark grey, beige, or dark grey. Display systems, you've got your Amatron 3, CTI 200, Amapad, and yeah, back to your Amatron 3 now. So, yeah, again, just a bit of additional heads-up display now. Attachers, no or yes. So that means you can actually pull a tanker with this and that, so you can refill on the go and that with it. And yeah, and also if you've got precision farming, you've got the GPS switch TM. Yes or no, additional 15 grand, so that is the weed spot spray in. Which we've got enabled on this, of course, with my mod view map and that. But yeah, I'm following that. I like the way how it looks in there. And I think also what I'll do is I'll open our help menu in that. So yeah, once you get going to the level grounds. So yeah, once again, you can raise and there the boom at the back. And L1, right stick, left to right. Widens and shorts the tires and that. So yeah, I'm just gonna head over to this field over here and that. So turn on sprayer and you'll see the sprayer in action. So yeah, obviously why is the correct amount of fertilizer I programmed. But yeah, still does a good job in that with it and that, to be fair in that. Handles bumps very well in that. And yeah, 32 miles an hour top speed. How does this handle our new little hill climb ramp in that? Hill climb ramp slash jumping at. Yeah, it's not very steep in that. I think it's only a 45 degree incline, I think. Yeah, I say it's not steep in that, but yeah, 45 degree incline in that. That is pretty steep as is in that. But yeah, it's very gradual and very long that, so it doesn't really feel that bad, so... How does this handle steep hills when filled up? Actually, not too bad, actually, in that, so... Yeah, this is a nice little test in that, for the hills in that. Ah, yeah, by the end of it, it's got, yeah, down to 12 miles an hour, so... Giving it a long enough 
it feels a lot longer than that, it will struggle than that, but... How this time we're going down a sheer cliff? Eh, not too bad than that. One thing I like about all the other spirits than that is where if you tip on sight, just unfold the equipment than that, and yeah, Bob's your uncle. Jobs are good and so... Now for a little test of endurance than that. It does whack the front end a little struggle a little bit, but it does have a little power and grunt to it. Bear in mind, he got 218 horses under his silver, isn't that? But yeah, in the end, eh? nice little bit of kit in that. Light beacons and that. Very rather impressive, isn't that? But yeah, that is the Amazon Pantera 4502 by MLOD98. Next. We've got the Lizard T series, meant to be T series, I think, too. This is by Cooler, 27.22 megabytes to download. In terms of slot count, it is 16 slots each, now, so you got a rigged, a rigged and a semi version. Even though they do look rather very similar now, I guess it's just because of the extra axle at the back, and that may be in that. Actually, no, I don't think so now. And again, I'll try to look at the difference in structure for the chassis and that. Can't find too much of a difference in that, but anyway, so... Under trucks and that. So yeah, you find these. So yeah, got these are T112 and that. 72 grand. Engine setup, so yeah, got your 112H, so... That is 305 horsepower. 333 horsepower. Different engine that, but doesn't do anything for top speed that. 363 for the HW. 142, that's one. Sorry, 375. 380 horsepower, 410. So, yeah, between 305 and 410 horsepower. Yeah, it does slightly change, you know, the grill on that. So, what you've got in that. All along with the sticker in that, obviously, in that. But apart from that, not too bad. And wheel brands and that. So, you've got 4x2. And your 6x2, so... Also, we'll set up in that, you've got standard, our rims, black front rims, back to standard. This is on some of these and that, but yeah, standard, brown stripes, brown with intercooler in that. Red, red with intercooler, so that's a little sticker in that. Gold, silver, green, blue, burgundy. Blue, yellow. Ooh, actually, I like that. Yellow, orange, and red. Grey, orange again. Special edition grey brand. And back to standard. Also, fuel tank and that. So, yeah, you've got standard. Grey with black. Oh, uh, yeah, black strap. <laughs> grey and chrome strap. Grey and colour strap. Black and grey strap, black and black, black and chrome and all that. But yeah, on to your bumper. So yeah, got your iron bumper, fibre bumper or your iron. l filter and that, so you got standard. Filler 12 with airfoil and that. Filter 12 with the airfoil complete and filter 113. And back to standards. Uh, for your front hub caps and that, so you've got none, design one, two, three, four, or none. Rear hub caps, exactly the same we just looked at. And then, yeah, exhaust and that, got ten different exhaust pipes and that, so exhaust one is on the left, two, six, seven, eight, nine, and nine is. Oh yeah, nine is on the fuel tank, so that is, ain't too bad. And ten is yeah, also on the exhaust on the right, so yeah. Five different exhaust systems now, just left and right. Now for your PX antenna, so no, left, right, two, left two, right two, two two, or none. Yeah, can't really find those antennas too much in that, but... Yeah, those ones I can see in that. But yeah, not sure about the others in that. 
but you also also forgot that if you've got the 6.2 you have yes or no option for the pneumatic and fenders gray black color gray half closed gray half closed color half closed and yep yeah, same with 6.2 and yet yeah, gray open than that color options and that so custom ones you've got blue blue 2 red red 2 yellow orange green beige green 2 and your normal color palette also chassis color you got gray black and orange hub color so that will change the hub in that can't really see too much from here in that what about if we changed our wheels in that so there we go now yep yeah, now we've got the hubs in that so you're going to need those and rims changes those in that and yeah for the rigid it is exactly the same ah yeah there is a difference in that yeah i just had a short version which looks very similar to the 6.2 in a way in that so yeah there is a difference in that my apologies there but yeah plus from that configurations is exactly the same in that yeah, it's just the ones I got were a bit different than that, so... Yeah, let's get the help menu open up. So yeah, L1 next. Lowers that rear axle. L1 right stick. Brings the left mirror in. And right stick. Or, yeah, right stick. Or, sorry, R1 right stick left to right. Does the mirrors and that. L1 R1. Right stick up and down. Does the hydro ultra air hydraulic suspension and that? Not too bad. How does this shift up into gears and that? So you got different different reverse gears and that. Oh yeah, you got that clacks and alarm. For reversing in <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't really handle that bad. But yeah, how does this handle our hill climbing at? So, I think this time rather than a speed up in that, let's stop at the bottom in that, and then go up to the top. Yeah, I like that switch with the brake in that, so. We'll try with no weight snap, then we'll try with a trailer load in that, so... Stop. And off the way we go. So yeah, this 45 degree climb handles it no problems whatsoever on its own in that. And how far does it go? Barely 25 metres. What about the other one? Let's, let's get a some form of a weight onto this. So alright, we've got 40,000 litres of fertiliser here, so how does this handle our little hill climb here and that? So yeah, initial get off a go is not too bad. 11, 10 miles an hour and that. Ooh, it is struggling this. But can it reach the top top of this? struggling a little bit that with power and that on when it's like proper on the 45 degree climb and that but I think eventually it will get to the top so yeah but not too bad in that so yeah I thought I was a little test in that to do in terms of if it's pulling power for weight now because it's all good having the lorry in that but if it can't pull anything then what's the point of having the lorry but anyways that is the Lizard T series 2 and that by Cooler next and for our final mod of the day and I yeah save the best for last this is the next at or the widespread vehicle system WSVS cultivator and subsoider this is by dogface and BDB SSB it is 44.42 megabytes to download and yeah this is obviously needs to require mod the widespread vehicle system itself and that so 
This is the final mod in series of widespan vehicle system or Nexat system. We've seen by Dogface and B2B SSB. So, so far we've seen a surge spreader by them, a sprayer, a planter, and a seeder. And one thing I'll do is hopefully for the next day or two now is do a total review, sort of overview of all of the systems you can see in that as part of this, these little pack of mods and that because yeah these all do suit very well together and it's all interlinkable in that and very useful on a map and that admittedly it may be a bit large for some maps and that and prices aren't too bad for example the ones we're looking at today so the cultivator and subsoider these are 56 and a half grand each 30 meters working width and yeah so you've got a cultivator version so i think this is the one here no, that's the subsoy one. This is the cultivator one over here and that. So yeah, that one does the cultivate in. But if you want to plow and subsoil in that, or plow and cultivate, you can go with the subsoil options. And yeah, this one is a win. So before we get ahead of ourselves, let's go overview of these in the store. So first of all, we'll head down to our tools and cultivators. So yeah, this is where you find the cultivator, the WSVS CLT1. It is, yeah, 56 and a half grand, 3 meters work width, work speed of 9 miles an hour, weighs 4.8 tons, and slot count for this is 22 slots, and it's 22 slots for each of the items and that. So yeah, going to configurations and that. The only configurations you've got is the color, so if I change the cultivator and that, so bright red, then you got your bracket, so let's go with a nice hot pink. And for that's a for your design in that. So yeah, we'll change that to a white, so yeah, that is the sort of link it is it linkages in that or whatever it's called in the plate snap. So yeah, basically it's these if I hop up in that. It's basically the little mesh things in that you see in that. So yeah, see like on the insides of the brackets and that, where the holes are. Yeah, and some extra colour options and that, so... Yeah, back to your cold spheres and that. But yeah, overall it's not too bad in that, so... That is the cultivator. And for the plow, so... This is a awesome bit of kit, so... There's actually other subsoils and that, so... Head towards the end, 56 grand again. 22 slots on console. 13 meter working width, work speed of 10, sorry, 9, 9 miles an hour, 4.8 tons in that, and yeah, as you see here, we can use this as a cultivator or as a plow in that, so you can just like, literally purchase one of these, use it for a cultivator in that, go to your workshop in that if you've purchased this, I change configuration to a plow, and the best thing is there's no extra cost to it in that, so once again, also color options in that, so you got the usual. WSVS1, so you've got your red, white, green, olive green, blue, light blue, grey, and beige, and then your basic, basic game colour palette in that. So yeah, I've got, yeah, this one here now, let's use the cultivator in that, so, first of all, let's unfold, or change the direct, driving direction. And now I know the trick of the monkey steering off. Do not touch steering at all when you're changing drive direction. Otherwise you'll lead to the wonky steering you have. Now I've done a video on it now. Go to your cultivator, so unfold cultivator. That just lowers it in that, so just raises and lowers. Make like further lower that to the ground. So yeah, let's go to field net. Yeah, you can see we are cultivating. Nine miles an hour. And yeah, does the job is needed in that. And that's the thing as well, like because this just lines up on the edge of the field net. Where the wheel lines up is where it's gonna get cultivating that on the inside of the wheel at least. So yeah, nice big kit. Again, the whole voice span vehicle system, the whole Nexat stuff and that. These are some like game changers ones and that again. We don't really see these kinds of like specialist equipment out on FS, so thank you Dogface and B2B SSB for all the hard work you've done with these 
variety of mods and that, so yeah, got to the end of the field. Let's go and raise you up. Now fold you up once again. I am simply that is it, so now if we tab over on that. So yeah, I want to go to our lorry here. So this is the plow what subsoider with the plow net, so yeah, let's get us first of all unhooked from the lorry itself, so with the hook lift and that. Which is part of the white span vehicle system mod itself, so let's detach that. There we go. And then what you need to do is Yeah, I know I've got the subsoiler cultivator one there, but I don't want that. I want the plow, so go and move you out of the way, or best way to do is, is change the driving, driving direction. So there we go, get the plough hooked up in that, so once again you can unfold and then there is the plough net. And yeah, also you have an option to create or not create fields in that, so at the moment we're not creating any fields, there are units. And there we go, we're creating fields and that. In a way, it's a simple mod, but also it is very much not a simple mod in that. But at the end of the day, it does, it does the job it's needing at, it fits the description at. And yeah, really, there's nothing to complain about. I like the animations of it, and that, especially when we go over these, you know, for example, when we're going over our swath pile over here and that. Of how it just adjusts itself as an act. The, the, the animation to that, and that it is absolute nice. And then, yep, once again, raise up. Turn on create field and act. So, get to the end. And there we go. This should just drop and go. So, let's do that again. So, get up to top speed. And boom. Instantly, create fields now. There's no delay or anything like that. Obviously, it slows you down to the work speed of nine miles an hour. But I wonder, is there a tr trick to this where you can fast farm that? So, to it, that. No, I try to find it. You know, quickly fold it and unfold it. That, but. No, you can't fast farm with it, unfortunately, in that, but at the end of the day, who needs fast farming when you've got this piece of a kid? Now, like, at the end of the day, 30 meters work with that at 9 miles an hour. You'll get your plowing and cultivating done in a jiffy, in that. Or is it giffy, in that? <laughs> at the end of the day, this is a Kraken Monat, Kraken Turkey, in that. It's the WVS Cultivator and Subsoiler. As I mentioned in that, thank you Dogface and BDB SSB in that for all your hard work you've done on these mods and that. And yeah, I will do a video on the whole system as a one big, in a way a bit of a mega video compilation way of individually looking at and yeah, maybe reviewing them, even though I've done mod reviews on them. But yeah, this is an awesome bit of kit and something I want to do going forward in that with my mod reviews and that is where well, I know I review mods and that, but what I want to do is do showcase of a video about X Modern that. So, for example, X video by Dogface and BDB SSB, or for them, should I say. And you know, maybe do another video for Schultz Modern, use Modern in that. And yeah, so they're, so they're kind of models where you tend to use a lot of their equipment that on FS if you don't know the modern name that. So, the way it sort of gives a bit of a showcase for the Modder in themselves, that like modern himself or herself or themselves mod the individual mod or mods themselves. So, yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing going down the road in that. But anyway, so this is taking me a lot longer to yeah, plan to do all these mods and that. So it's currently 20 to 10 in that. So fuck's sake, I'll, I'll get as edited and uploaded before I go to bed because I got work first thing in the morning. Where I get up at five o'clock in that. So yeah, this will be up sometime tonight in that. Not sure when that. But anyway, so you found this helpful and informative in some shape or form. If so, smash the button, feel free to down below. If you want to share some please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please stir. But for to do, hope you're gonna stay. But for now, it's me farmer Evo Extreme 
and I'll see you all uh, very soon.